Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another video. So today we've got another Christmassy themed video. We've got Hocus Pocus from Madame Glam and we also have a Simple White from Cloud Beauty. This one is in the shade 1323. They do another white shade which is a different number. I think it starts with the number 3 and they're pretty much the same. One is a bit more of a pure white than the other but no matter which one you pick up they're pretty much just a white. <laughs> Nothing, you know, when you've got them to compare there is a slight difference but when you buy it you literally not see it if you only get the one color um so starting off with the design there's quite a lot going on today there's um snowflakes and ombres and glitter and sweater and everything just involved in today's video i'm not quite sure in what order i'm going to upload the videos but for me this is the very last christmasy set that i am recording editing and voicing so um, I'm filming this a few days ahead because um, I wanted to have some time with my family over Christmas so I won't be able to be home and record and keep thinking of nail designs and everything for the YouTubes, <laughs> for all of you. So I am filming it ahead and I have a few filmed and I'm just kind of trying to organise which one I want to upload first, which one I don't, which one I like most and all of that stuff. So I'm not quite sure which way around you're going to see these videos but this is for me anyways, the last Christmas video and set and everything that I'm filming and voicing and doing it all. So it's quite upsetting because I really enjoyed the ride and I have recently picked up a lot of Mogi London Christmas plates so that's quite a shame for me because I just feel so much more kind of energized to do Christmas sets and you know just inspired really by the plates and really wanted to get them going so I managed to get two of them going um and unfortunately the rest of them are going to have to wait till next year so this is probably the perfect time to stick around and subscribe because next year we're going to hit it even harder than this year. <laughs> so going back to the nail design video today, we've got one for sugared nail, of course we do, and we have a full ombre nail. I sprinkled on some clear acrylic there to help with the ombre. Um, and um, then I just repeat the process, keep applying the gel polish with the sponge and sprinkle on the acrylic until you are happy and cure in between each layer of course. So now that we have two layers of the other nails applied as well and cured, it's time to start with the nail art design. So this bit I had to trim out, I could not get it straight <laughs> even though it looks somewhat alright to be honest but my biggest issue was I needed the same distance between the two lines right in the centre because we are going to place some stickers on there which we've got right there. So I've done two layers here and cured it. So now that it's out I'm using a nail prep liquid from Miley. It's like a nail cleaner on the lint free wipe and I'm just wiping away the tacky layer. Here is my little silver sticker and I always like to get rid of the tacky layer with some anything really you've got, acetone if needs be, but um, I like to do that because I find that the sticker sticks on way better that way and it's not kind of sliding around the tacky layer that the gel polish leaves, so I do recommend you guys do it that way too in case you're struggling to apply stickers just like I've always have. <laughs> and I'm basically applying this silver sticker where the white and the purpley reddish kind of colour meets. So if in case you didn't have a sticker like this, you could just go ahead and hand draw if you've got some like sparkly silvery grey kind of colour or any colour in particular really it's just to add that little kind of contrast the separation between the two colours and we are going to top coat those in place to help it kind of stay there and not move later on so I'm placing it down as you can see on the left hand side unfortunately the line wasn't straight enough and you can see a bit of the white seeping through but luckily it wasn't too noticeable so I can get away with it which is great I love to I love when that happens when it's almost tragic but it's just about where I can get away get away with it <laughs> so there we are that's that one done so now that those are done we can apply our top coat so I am applying a matte top coat on all of those nails and once they're out of the lamp we'll be able to start working on our snowflakes so with the snowflakes we're going to use some glitter bells unbelievable gels I always use them I love them you all should pick them up I'll have a link in the description to those and um, I also have a link for the Madame Glam stuff what else do I have a link for the glitters as well they all I think save you some sort of money so do check out the description and we'll be doing some snowflakes we also have some crystal placement to do which I think is such a cute little crystal placement it was so easy to do but so so cute with the little heart there it's just beautiful and then for that center nail that we've got there with the white and the purple purple 
shade is it purple red i'm not quite sure that in between a pinky purpley color and uh, we're going to sprinkle on some glitter which we're going to work on now so now that it's top coated i am going to apply another wet layer of that white gel polish and i'm only applying it where we've got the white so you want to also make sure you're trying to keep as straight of a line as possible. You don't have to be too precise as the glitter will kind of mask quite a lot, lot of it. But do try and be as precise as possible. And I'm only applying it on that centre. And then we are going to sprinkle on some of that clear, well not clear, it's white glitter. If you're an OG on my channel, you all know that I've been using this white glitter for years on <laughs> my channel it feels like every single video pretty much included that glitter at some point it was just such a universal glitter to have so if i were you and you're just starting out or you're you know you feel quite overwhelmed when you hop onto one of those glitter websites and they have millions and different combinations of glitters and colors i would firstly pick up one of those white glitters because honestly they just work with everything and it's just been amazing um and if you don't believe me just hop on if probably six months ago i reckon about that time if you look at my videos they pretty much all include this kind of glitter so now that we've applied the glitter and cured it we're going to work on our first form was it hocus pocus <laughs> gel polish nail and i've done two lines off camera of course because i could not that day do it on camera and i'm doing very small what are they called like a zigzaggy thing um right very closely together you want to be very precise um usually i do them quite big and spread out but here i really wanted to make sure it's very like concentrated there's a lot of them very close together but of course not too close enough so that you can actually see the line so there we are i finished it and it's time to sprinkle on some clear acrylic and this is going to create our little cute sweater nail design so we're going to incorporate snowflakes with the unbelievable gels along with some sweater nails this is our first sweater nail we've got one more sweater nail to do which i managed to actually keep the whole design on camera which was amazing so there we are here it is so here we're going to do a slanted kind of sweater look so we're going to start off with the top and then dragging it down to the lift and um, i'm going to start off with the first line and i'm using actually a very long brush i highly recommend them for trying to do straight lines so now that i've done the first line i'm going to pick up a smaller brush because i just feel so much more confident with doing actual designs with it and i'm going to do kind of like a very lazy s and I'm going to repeat this and I'm going to almost make them look like they're connecting but they're not. You want to make sure that the there is a gap in between each S. And you just want to follow it. I thought it was a really nice different way of doing it. I always do these very sharp, harsh, what I called, what was it, zigzags, did I call them? <laughs> um, patterns. And here I thought, well, let's switch it up and do it a bit differently. And I'm going to finish it off with another line underneath. However, we are going to do those zigzaggy lines um, at the top of that. I will also add an additional line there too. So we'll do that now. I'll probably just let you guys watch it and I'll come back to you guys when it's done. All right, and it's done. So now it's time to sprinkle on some clear acrylic, of course. So that'll be the very last little sweater vibe that we've got going on. Then we've got a lot of work to do with the snowflakes. So they've just got, um, I mean, it's probably not a lot of work. It's just a lot of snowflakes to do. We've got one, two, three, four snowflakes to do. Three of them are kind of half snowflakes. One is a full snowflake. <laughs> so there's a lot. <laughs> so for this nail here, we're going to do a snowflake. What will look like it's kind of coming out of the actual sweater look. So we're only going to do three lines sticking out of it. And then we're going to follow kind of where the sweater is going downwards we're going to add one line going down there and one line going upwards there we are and then for this snowflake we're going to do kind of like triangles attaching each kind of branch together just like that and we're going to do a double 
triangles there's the double so you're going to follow this exact thing across each branch and then once you're done with those we're going to finish it off with a detail of some dots on the branches <laughs> that's the best way for me to describe it branches of the snowflake so we're going to add some dots which i will do now so you want to do two dots or three depending on how long your branch is the the ones closest to the sweater look i only did two because they are quite small but the other three, I think I did three dots. So one, two, three. And then this one was short, so I did two. And then we did three again. One, one, two, three. <laughs> and then we only did two, I think, there. And that one's Gucci. So we're going to pop into the lamp. Unbelievable gels cure for 60 seconds. They're super pigmented. They're much more thicker than ordinary gel polishes so do make sure you cure it for 60 seconds the amount of times i've forgotten and i've only done 30 seconds and i messed it up so <laughs> please make sure you do and so for this nail here we are repeating the exact same process but rather than dot we're going to do these like little additional branches sticking out of the first branches we've done i'm so bad at explaining this snowflakes i'm so sorry but with this nail, we're going to do a half snowflake at the top and then we're going to do a half snowflake at the bottom on the left hand side this time. So we've got a snowflake on the right top hand side and then we, go, we got a snowflake bottom left hand side. And for the last nail, most of it I did off camera really and that's the one with the sweater nail design on that corner. You want to do a full snowflake in the center of that nail and then I ended up ended up just scattering some dots to kind of give like a snowy vibe you could say and then I ended up curing it so I don't actually leave a lot of that footage in so yeah but if any really actually looking at it now <laughs> so as we're already working on our crystals so unfortunately I haven't included that but you will see it in a second I just had such difficulties filming this video it was just a nightmare so I'm so glad that I did come to an end of it and the majority of it is included there we go there's the nail <laughs> so it's a snowflake in the center with some scattered dots around and I achieved that with a dotting tool and with the crystals, I'm placing some AB tiny little crystals right in the center of the snowflakes. On all of the snowflakes we've created, especially this here, I wanted to try and pick up as small of a crystal as I possibly could. Just because I didn't want it going too much over onto the glitter. So I was trying to pick up small little crystals. And then lastly, we have one more nail to work on and it's our ombre nail. And I love applying crystals and ombre nails. I don't know what it is. And this ombre was just so seamless and it just proves how well the method of a sponge and clear acrylic works. Before that, I was very horrible with my ombres. It was just not working and I would avoid them at all costs. I literally just hated them i just didn't like what i was producing and um now that i found this clear acrylic method um I, I always get asked why do i do it i really i don't know i found it on instagram and ever since then i've, I've seen a lady do it i think it was a lady and i can't remember but i saw someone do it on instagram and i thought you know what i've tried so many things what could hurt try this method i've got everything that they're basically using let me just give it a go and goodness was i shocked and as you can see that ombre is seamless and there's no dots when you or any brush strokes when you use a ombre brush i always see those brush strokes which i just really don't like i just love a very beautiful seamless ombre and this has been the only way i've been able to achieve it so with the crystal placement it's just pretty much a very simple necklace vibe I like to call those the kind of necklace crystal placements because it looks like there's a necklace and then like a pendant or something hanging down from it so in the center we've got a heart and we're just creating the um little necklace around it and then following from the heart going downwards we've got just a circle a b followed by almost like a tear droplet vibe crystal and then finishing it off with another tiny little a b and off camera i do go ahead and add some caviar beads in between the crystals which add so much in my opinion i love caviar beads just so much to the crystal placement and i did end up surrounding that kind of tear droplet vibe crystal with caviar beads there we are here it is so i hope you guys liked it it's the very last one i'm filming i'm so sad but hopefully we can crack on with our valentine sets because that's literally around the corner mid jan you'll see so much valentine's coming out from me so stay tuned so i hope you guys liked this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i would absolutely love to see you all in my next video bye guys